Hey guys, this is Jeremy. Here we are back at Tianfu International Airport. And today I'm gonna to take you to see the world's first C919 large aircraft. And we're gonna have this first hand experience of what it's like inside this large aircraft that is made in China. Come on, let's go. So C919 is still at the test flight stage. So today's experience is not some normal regular boarding process. So it might require some extra steps. For example, you can see here's the temporary pass and I have this reflective vest which is pretty standard for security and also this pretty special boarding pass. Um, it says welcome aboard world's first C919 large aircraft from Shanghai Hongqiao International Airport to Chengdu Tianfu International Airport. So this is my first time. That's right, it's my another first time. That's why I love my job because I can always have some pretty special first time experience. All right, right now I'm on the tarmac of Tianfu International Airport. In just a few minutes, the world's first C919 large aircraft will be landing on International Airport for the first time. It's pretty cold outside, but everybody is getting warming up for this grand event, and I can't wait. The C919 aircraft with the Chinese seal logo landed slowly, passed through the water gate, and finally made its debut at Tianfu International Airport. The C919 is 38 meters long with a wingspan of 35.8 meters and a height of about 12 meters. It is slightly larger than Boeing 737 and Airbus 320. They are the two classic single aisle airplanes. The list price of the C919 is about 99 million US dollar, which is about 650 million yuan. The Watergate ceremony got its name from the fact that when two or more fire engines spray water on both sides of the plane, a Watergate will appear. This ceremony carries a symbolic meaning of welcoming its arrival by washing away the dust. It is a high-level etiquette in international civil aviation, which is often used to honor retired senior pilots, air traffic controllers, and the first or the last flight of an airline. Many new aircraft will pass through the water gates after their first landing, and some countries will also use it when welcoming foreign leaders. Here right now, I'm actually standing right next to this large aircraft C919. You can see there's a Chinese seal with four Chinese characters, Quan Qiu Shou Jia. On the right side is its English translation, it means the world's first C919 aircraft. All right, we are finally able to board the plane. Now let's go check out the inside of the aircraft. Okay. What does name C919 mean? Well, C stands for the first letter of both China and Comac. Nine in Chinese culture means Chang Chang Jiu Jiu, which means long lasting. And 19 means the maximum capacity of this aircraft is 190 people. See, we got this operating system that's all Chinese. The setting language is Chinese. Here we can, it's got many different functions. Here you can see there's a lighting system. We got different kind of modes. For example, the taking off, landing mode, a crucial mode, breakfast, dinner mode, uh, sleep mode, and uh, light flight mode. We got a very different kind of mode for you to set your light. Uh, we can see that inside the airplane, the operating system they are all Chinese, and even the uh, system in the cockpit, the pilot, they are all using Chinese to command the airplane. So, unlike the like Boeing or Airbus, this aircraft has both Chinese and English system. So, for Chinese pilots, they don't have they don't have to learn English to operate the plane anymore. So, it's very easy for Chinese pilot to fly this plane. You can see this. It's a classic layout of the uh, single aisle airplane. In the first class cabin, we have two plus two layout. And in the economy class cabin, we have three plus three layout. We can see the, the main color of the airplane is, is gray. It's kind of gray. And I can still smell this new airplane kind of smell, which got me very interested. 
compared with the normal airplane the seat is thinner than the regular airplane seat and so that that will create more space for passengers so and i can stretch my leg like this it's very spacious when you want to get some rest you can adjust the pillow like back and they can have a good rest like this and they can recline like this like a normal airplane to get a good rest it's got a very good experience and I feel very comfortable and which got me kind of sleepy right by sitting on it and I, I believe when I really get on the board as a real passenger I can have a good rest on the airplane but wait before I fall asleep do you know who has ordered seen on one line so far there's already one order that has been delivered as of November 2022, Carmack has received order for 1,115 C919s. And with customers including domestic and international airlines such as Air China, China Eastern Airlines, China Southern Airlines, Hainan Airlines, and a number of domestic and international aircraft leasing companies. Well, this is an overhead compartment. The height is relatively lower than a normal airplane. So even when someone is pretty short, they can, it can still reach the handle. And see, it lowers down gradually, very slowly, so it will help protect your head. Speaking of luggage, do you know how far the C919 can fly? Well, the maximum flight range of this aircraft can be up to 5,555 kilometers, to be more precise. In China, from east to west, the maximum distance can be up to 5,200 kilometers. Well, from north to south, the maximum distance can be up to 5,500 kilometers, which means this flight range can cover pretty much most cities in China. As for the international route, this flight range can pretty much cover the distance between Beijing and Singapore. Well, I've been noticing a lot of people have been discussing whether the C919 is entirely made in China. Well, in fact, for a large aircraft from the process of development to production and to assembly, not a single country or enterprise in the world can cover the entire process. For example, Airbus's aircraft giant A380, it has over 4 million parts and components, which are from over 30 countries in the world. And for this model, C919, over 60% of the parts and components are made in China. And the design of the plane model and assembly are both finished domestically. So from that perspective, I can definitely see that aircraft C919 can be called made in China. That's how I wrap up my amazing experience here in Tianfu International Airport. I've also got this interesting souvenir here, this new model of aircraft C919. Well, this new aircraft is scheduled to be put into commercial operation in early 2023 and it will be starting from Beijing and Shanghai. Well, do you want to take this aircraft in one of your trips next year? Or what else do you want to know about this aircraft? Leave a message and let me know. This is Jeremy, and I'll see you in the plane. <laughs>